Here's the dryer department. In the dryer department, uh, gas dryers, electric dryers, uh, convection, infrared, hot air are all made through this area. Typical application here, we will go through approximately seven to eight dryers per day wow. are pro uh, produced through here. Now, again, the crow's nest, so he can see everything that's going on in his area. Every machine will be put together. It will be tested, ran. We checked for your uh, carbon monoxide, the burn efficiency of the burner, and the uh, control, the temperature variations in the dryer to plus or minus one degree. If it's greater than plus or minus one degree, cannot go out. He's making a split belt 72 here. There's another one there. And it looks like a 60 over there. This is a double burner section here. We make this version in gas, the Sprint 2000. But there's also, what people here don't know, is there's a Sprint E2000. It's an all-electric Sprint. Because there's third world countries where they can't get gas, but they have an overabundance of electricity because they run their entire facility on generators, diesel generators and they have an excess capacity of electricity off the generators. So they will order these in an electric version. What's more efficient? Gas by far. Yes. But if you're getting free electricity off an uh, excess capacity on a generator, might as well use it. Right. But they'll produce them through. Every dryer will get tested, exhausted out, and these will get processed, and they got to get out of here fairly quickly because there's a lot of them coming up behind it. These are the two-foot chassis for the Sprint dryers. You'll notice we have uh, standoffs. Standoffs are made out of Teflon so that the screw that's here does not see the heat that's here because heat will not transfer through here and heat the outside and heat your shop. So this will get four inches of insulation. Here's your standoffs. Four inches of insulation all the way around and this is where the heat is. So this heated area never sees this area. And then these are bull noses, so that when they put these together, they'll put a bull nose in here, and when they sandwich together, there's no place for air to come out this way as well. So this is the actual running temperature of your dryer. Do you have a 2000 sprint? Yep. Then you know. They're pretty cool. There's your thickness of your insulation if you take your Inspection uh, cover off, and we put those for clean outs. Mm -hmm. That's how thick the insulation is between you and the heat. Another group of QC guys going through the dryer. So he will go through that dryer in its entirety to double check it, and everything he's testing will be recorded. And that's a big part of what we do, is the QC part of it. Electric dryers go through here. Remember we told you, what you said, what's a special application? Well, here's a dryer, they need electric, but this is a special application dryer. S supports for heavy substrates going through on a metal belt, or a metal lace belt, actually. But this, is, this will go through, and even through the dryer, if you look inside, there's rollers there. And what are they curing? They're curing a metal plate and each plate weighs 180 pounds. Uh, so they're printing on it? Yeah. But it's got to go through here and 180 pounds fill up this belt. You get at 4,000 pounds on the conveyor. So if you look at it, it's a radicure. We look at it as a custom dryer. Now here's a dryer that's running with the, with the cover off. We insulate the inside from the outside. Keep it cold. For all of our competitors that tell our customers, well, our dryers are just as, a, as efficient as an MNR. Really? We'll send you a portable gas meter with all the fittings and hook it up to your dryer. We know exactly what ours is going to burn. Now let's see exactly what yours burns and see if you're as efficient as you say. So that's always on standby for anybody that wants to do a test of their gas consumption of their existing dryer or a brand new competitive dryer.